think we'll see this racetrack widen out even more than what we did last night in the nationwide race. Double wide, A.J. Allmendinger, 43, Jeff Burton, 31. That's for 7th and 8th places, and trouble already. Turn 4, Andy Lally in the 71 car is in the wall. Caution flag is out. Saw Andy Lally lock the wheels up, get in turn 1 on the very first lap. I don't know what happened here, but I did see that earlier right out of this car. Lally was running 36th at the time, and has uh, had the back end of his car rearranged. Have got a little contact. Looks like Mike Bliss in the 32. Yeah, that turn three is a tough spot to enter side by side at times. Car really wants to get loose there. All you can do, you might catch the apron just a little bit with the left front and it shoots you straight up the track. With Pulse or David Rudiman sliding in third, 33 and 5, Clint Boyer, Mark Martin racing for fourth and fifth. Gears back when one oh, trouble there, Boyer spinning around in turn four. Like and trouble behind him! About a half a dozen cars gonna pile up in the up. aftermath. The gate car's got a little damage in the front. Quite a bit, actually. Yes, sir. That could be radiator right there, too. Front around and ended with about a half a dozen others in the jam. It looked like it was going to be innocent enough. I mean, Clint Boyer got his left front down on the apron there, got him loose up into the double zero of David Rudiman. It looked like it said all kind of, he was kind of up out of the way, but then things started happening. Looks like maybe Junior got in the back of Matt Kenseth in the 17, and that triggered a lot of things happening after that. Yeah, it looked like the 33 car, Boyer, was going to be able to just drive away with no damage other than that contact right there. And then, boy, did it break loose behind him. Racing for third spot at the time. Yeah, it does look like Junior got into to Matt Kenseth, and that just caused everybody. Yeah, you can see run. Hamlin hard into the outside wall. Riding here with Clint Boyer. Hang on to it, hang on to it. Lock it down, lock it down. Hold the brake, hold the brake. Now watch him here. Go low, go low, go low, go low, go low. Keep coming there. Go low, go low. Keep coming low. Watch him, watch him. So an early twist of plot here at Richmond. Dale Jr. and Denny Hamlin both damaged in a wreck in lap number eight. Working on their cars. Scott Speed, Robbie Gordon, both involved in that second accident, treated and released from, or checked out and released from the Infield Medical Center. Andy Lally's car in the garage area as well after damage from the first car. And trouble. trouble, turn two. That's Casey Kane. And we're under the yellow for a third time. We get a look ahead from Brad Keselowski's onboard camera and see what brought out our third caution of this race. Slow up in front of you, slow up high, slow up high, slow up high, slow up high. Little contact. And the caution is out. Right. From behind. Yellow fever early on tonight here in Richmond. Early one of the drivers who thought he might have an outside chance to get into chase tonight. He's already been on pit road twice because of damage in that incident a few laps ago to repair oh. some of the bars in the back and pull some sheet metal away. And Trouble. Marcus Ambrose, Doc, going around off turn two. We got wreck. I think if we can shoot it all can buddy. I think if we came up with a theme for this night, oh. it's that all those guys with that shot at getting into the championship, in trouble. They're all in trouble in the early going, in one form or another. So what's put the yellow out this time? Uh, Dale Jr. Getting a little piece of the nine car there. But that's short track racing. That's what we talked about was going to happen at Richmond here. You know, what happened, you had a lot of cars in front of this group that did not have new tires. And almost every one of these cars from junior back had new tires. Yeah, and actually looked like Ambrose probably had to check up to keep from getting into the sixth car of David Reagan. Junior was in the throttle coming off the corner. Just happened to get into the back of him. Clear. Yeah, you can see Ambrose's car slow down right there. Hi, 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 there you go. Clear. All clear. Good job. So eventful would be a good description of the opening laps tonight here in Richmond as Ambrose gets patched up. Pit Road is going to be open now for the lead lap cars, and none of the guys at the very front of the pack are buying at the moment. A guy named William Clements, the one that designed this, works for M&M's. Nice to see. 
Kyle Busch doing it proud tonight, running fourth behind McMurray, Harvick, trouble. And the leader, Jimmy Johnson. Trouble in turn four. Casey Kane with a hard hit again. That was with his teammate, Brian Vickers. saw that right Kane took a double hit there he went up to the yeah, top side hard. and then down to the inside uh -oh. see the two was... teammates racing side by side but Marcus Ambrose gets into the left rear of Brian Vickers his teammates on the outside nowhere to go uh, Casey Kane's had a very hard night here getting Hit a couple of different times, hard licks here. And just like you said, Dale, it's more three wide entering the corner than I remember here. A lot of aggressive driving. That was a race for 26th position. That's not normally somewhere that you put yourself in a three wide position. And it wasn't even a door or but really a no. slide opening there at all that, that Ambrose, yeah. Now there's a little follow up there. Idea. Blame him for that. No, I don't blame him at all. Let's see right here. Oh yeah. NASCAR has told Brian Vickers to take that car to the garage area and keep it there for a while. Oh, copy that. Nice and smooth entering. You're fine, dude. Caution flag out. Got a car up against the wall off turn number two. Looks like Mike Bliss, right front down. Behind the 42, here's a big gap. Here we go yeah. behind the 48, right here. Come down, come down, come down. Contact earlier with uh, another car. Could have been part of the problem of pushing that right front fender in on the tire. And there's a lot of damage on that 32 car. Yeah, and there's a lot of drivers who are glad to see that. They weren't the cause of the caution. See right there when the tire lets go. Oh, that's a safer barrier, but that's still a hard lick. Kyle Bush got caught a lap down after he had to pit under green. Looks like he might get this lucky dog this time. Dale Jr. will be glad to see this. Even though he's a lap yeah. down, he needs to do some serious work to that car. He's doing everything but wrecking. Well, got a caution over in turn two, the 38 car. In contact with the 88. Kevin Harvick leading the most laps so far tonight. The caution flag is out. And get closer to the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series with unlimited access to highlights, news, and more. Learn more at sprint.com slash speed. Dale Jr. needed that caution. That's Travis Quapple. Jr. had the leader bearing down on him, put him down two laps. Let's see. Ooh, that's shot. a start finish line. So I'm feeling payback. Well, let's see. see that Junior took exception to that. Yeah. What do you think? Looks like payback to me. You see Harvick right there behind Dale Earnhardt Jr. So that'll be point counterpoint. As I said earlier, sometimes you just have to handle these things yourself. Junior decided to do that, it looked like. I don't imagine getting bumped into halfway down the... the the front stretch would yeah, make you happy. But no, that's that's not something that you normally get. You, you have to expect if you're going to do that, then you have to be ready to get hit at some point in time. The only problem is Dale Earnhardt Jr. doesn't need any enemies out here tonight. Trouble on the front stretch. 51 car spins. That's Landon Castle. And the caution flag is out. Stay off the grass. Nothing flat. Dang it. Did I just lose it there? Landed Castle running 24th at the time, went for a spin. Well, he couldn't benefit from it last time. And been trying hard here tonight. Yeah, no kid. They need to work on it a little bit, though. Well, contact there. That was Regan Smith happened. has a pretty good save. Wow. Whoa. Good driving there by Regan Smith. Just barely 
That was kind of like a few different things all happening at the same time off the same corner separately. So if you got to go someplace and have a win and a shot to get in night. Oh, trouble, turn one, back of the pack. Regan Smith and Paul Menard. Smith was actually the secondary incident. There was contact in the pack that sent Menard pretty hard into the outside wall right, 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 right. of that 27 car. And yellow flag number nine is waiting. Looks like this will end Paul Menard's slim hopes of getting in the chase. Yeah. His only chance was to win the race. Yeah, he's going to work on this car in the garage for a little while. Whoa, man, he's a pretty hard lick right there. Yeah, that happened entering the corner. Looks like one of those situations, they're almost three wide again. You can see. Almost two almost separate like, instances. Yeah, it's like something was on the racetrack almost down there as they entered the corner. You can see Regan Smith really loose, but that's part of the corner that you, it's very easy to get loose. The hard as you drive in, get on the brakes. Well, he's trying to, Alan, but he says the car is loose in and loose off. And that's been the first time all night that they really felt like that's been a oh. handling issue that's detrimental to him. And he gets caught in the back end and into the wall. Johnson in trouble. Montoya also goes around. Caution number 10. Tomorrow you can start the roll. You can't. Clear. Again, fellas. They're having a good race right there. I don't know if Kirk has made a mistake. Yeah, it looked like the, the 48 of Johnson had given the 22 plenty of room to race down on the bottom side, but could have been a situation that Kirk just got loose getting into the corner, too, and couldn't turn the wheel. Yeah, he locked, uh, it, he locked, locked up, it up the brakes. Yeah, his, his car was loose getting down in there. He tried to drive it in and just locked up the front tires. That just slid up into the 48. Saw Montoya there in the aftermath. Yeah, it looks like Kurt just charged the corner a little bit too hard, locked the front wheels up, and shot the front end straight up into Jimmy. Right along with Kurt Bush down here to turn one. Yeah, as soon as you get on the brakes that hard, you lock them up, the car just goes straight. Close call for Jeff Gordon there, missing that. Pit stops for some, Dave. Again, they're trying to tighten up a little bit to get better drive off. Dave. Trouble turn number two. It is Kurt Busch who's gone around. Brought the caution flag no out. Got another car. Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Johnson. Oh, uh, well. Huh. Imagine that. Hard came together again. would be into something here. 11th caution of the race. I got your number. I got your number. I know what happened there now. I think the both of you have had each other's number for a little while now. Brought out the previous caution. Wow. He had ways to get to it. <laughs> he had to work hard to oh, get goodness. there. That took some talent. He's a five-time champ. Oh, this will be an interesting picture. Quite. The throttle good, huh? Patient. <laughs> so, Newton's law, an action, and an equal and opposite reaction. There it is. If I have my high school science right. Cautions just come out at Richmond. You can pretty plainly see why. Jeff Burton. Flat tire and into the wall. And pit road is open for the lead lap cars. Carl Edwards leads them in. Jay Jeff Burton bringing out caution number 12 in the race. A look at what happened to the Virginia native. It wasn't fun. We'll be back for the restart. Those dodges are awfully strong. Well, they have to be really excited about getting these two into the chase. Only Dodge is really out here. Oh. Ambrose trouble again. Off of two. Off of two. Washington flag is out. Yellow's out. We got the leader into one here. Turn around. 
Marcus Ambrose, third time's the charm for him tonight. 26th place at the time for this one. You're grinning here next to me. What? Oh, it's just... <laughs> I mean, we expected to come here and see a lot of excitement, but my goodness. Uh-oh. Trouble for Joey Logano here. That's not uh, good. Turn in the back door of the garage there. Another, another issue with the engine. All right. What happened to Marcos Ambrose? More well, here they wide. are, three wide again. Dave Blaney in the 35 here tonight for Tommy Baldwin. Yeah. He got a little, a little high and wide into that corner, kind of open that hole up. Well, Jimmy Johnson's been around a lot of action tonight. He was right in the middle of that. So Kozlowski back to seventh place. Oh, drop up the sixth. Clint Boyer got into the zero. in the wall, one. turn one. Yellow flag number 14. Seven cars coming there. After seven, come on. I don't know if Clint Boyer had a problem, but he just never turned the car. Mark Martin had gone by on the inside, and the Ruderman started on the pole tonight, was running 18th. Yeah, Boyer kind of locked up the brakes. He was trying to stay off, off of them get off of him if that, that just makes the car go to the right and it looks like he got him extremely loose down in there and the double zero just happened to be at him. Jeff Gordon's out just making nice solid laps. And the only way David Reagan oh, caution is out and oh. this changes everything. Right. Keep going here. He oh. can because of the full fire. Paul Menard. Oh, I think the right rear is down. Paul Menard, winner at Indianapolis to the Brickyard 400, involved in contact earlier tonight that did all that damage to that 27 car. Put him up on the wall in turn one. They made repairs. They brought him back out onto the racetrack. Now he brings out the caution flag that erases Jeff Gordon's lead, puts the pit crews in the spotlight, and sets up what's going to be a wild dash to the finish. Here they come. Huge break for Carl 